slow train from Chiwon Junction arrives at the town of Kalor. Kalor is situated 1,320 metres above sea level in the hills of the Shan state of Myanmar. During colonial times, Kalor was a hill station where the British came to escape the heat of the lowlands. There is a selection of accommodation available in Kalor, and my choice, Eastern Paradise Hotel, provided everything I needed at an affordable cost. It was located on a pleasant side lane near the centre of town. At one end of the town there is a clock tower and an attractive park. I find the variety of Myanmar transport quite fascinating to watch. Most tourists coming to Kalor use it as a base for trekking in the surrounding hills. That's a popular activity, especially the three day, two night trek from Kalor to Inlay Lake. Downtown Kalor has streets lined with market stalls. Many of the stalls are run by villagers from the surrounding hills selling their produce. As Carlo's population of around 10,000 includes descendants of Indians and Nepalese railway workers brought in by the British, this cultural contribution influences the food on sale in the market and in local restaurants. Dominating the town centre is the Ong Chan Tha Stupa with its colourful mosaic patterns of silver, gold and glass. Besides the obvious Buddhist presence, other religions are also obvious in Kalor. There is this large Muslim mosque the hillside above the town, an Anglican church, and a little further on, the Catholic Church of Christ the King, with its convent, girls' hostel, and school. You can also find a large Cayenne Baptist church, and the architectural style of this church reflects its missionary background. In the hills, a few kilometres from the centre of Kalor, is the Shui O Min Paya. Besides the forest of golden coloured stupa, the Paya's attraction is its cave filled with countless statues of Buddha.
countless religious images fill the long passageways and the branches from it. Smaller Buddha images are placed on ledges overhead. Every available spot seems to be in use. sure to see billboards like this. And now it's time to catch the slow train and to move on in our journey through Myanmar.